Hi everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to create this plant over here. This is a reference photo that I took uh, while I went out and I thought that it would be quite interesting to add this plant to our backyard scene. So uh, let's go ahead and create this. To do so I'm just going to go ahead and move uh, the camera and the lamp to a separate layer. So press M and move it, uh, let's just say here. Then I'm just going to delete the cube because I don't need it. Then I'm going to add a plane by pressing Shift A Mesh Plane. Go into top view by pressing 7 on your numpad and then tab into edit mode. Now I'm, well, I may as well go into the modifiers panel in the properties window and add a subdivision surface. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, model uh, each of these individual leaves. Well, I think it's called a leaf or a petal. Let's just call it a leaf. Okay, so uh, the shape is about like this. Uh, you basically s select, say, this one and then scale it up to, say, about uh, one square across, then uh, press E and then Y and move it up to say about there, uh, let's say four squares up and let's just scale that one up uh, about one one square to uh, one square wide, about there. And then let's scale once, uh, let's e press E once more, then Y and uh, let's move it really really far out and what I might do is I might just scale this I might now start to come in a little bit like so and then extrude one more time by pressing E Y and then moving it somewhere there and then scaling it in so press S and just scale it in until it becomes a point like so so we have defined the shape of our leaf um, I might as well go into edit mode again and just make it a little bit more fatter. So box select that by pressing B and then dragging around. And S, X. Let's just make it a little bit more fatter. Something like that seems good. Okay, so that is our leaf uh, shape that we're going to go for from the top view. Um, next step, we need to now shape what the side of the leaf looks like. And tap into edit mode and uh, press Control R and where you can see the purple line uh, I want it to be vertical yeah like that and then I'm just going to scroll up one two uh, the reason I put three loop cuts is because I want to have that center line over here and those extra two loops cuts over here I just want to add a bit more detail so that when we um, when it curves up that we have a little bit more shape to work with okay I'm just going to go ahead and select everything around here so press C for circle select and then just color in everything that's around just like that okay so now that we have everything selected uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on proportional editing so make sure that's enabled and we're gonna have a sharp fall off so press grab Z uh, scroll out if you want more influence scroll in if you want less and I might just pull it up to about uh, say that much so let's look at it from the side view by pressing numpad 3, 5 to go into orthographic, and that seems uh, about good. Okay, um, I don't think I need as much. Oh, I'm just going to turn off limit selection to visible so that we can see through our model and we can see through the back, as you, like for example that one. So I might as well shape this a little bit more like that, just to make it look a bit like a leaf. Alright, and now what I will do is I will select the tip over here and then with the sharp fall off uh, still selected I'm just going to scroll out to have more influence. I'm just going to move it downwards like that. Then rotate it a bit like that. So sort of have that type of shape. Should be good. Okay, so that's it. That is uh, the basics of our leaf. I might as well just uh, select this one and just, uh, oh sorry, just scroll down. If you scroll down to a very low influence, uh, it won't have much influence. It'll be just like scrolling it without the proportional editing. So I might just, uh, keep it to about that type of shape. Alright, so we have our leaf shape defined now. What I want to do now is I'm just going to go into edit mode. So tab into edit mode, select everything and just um, move the, the leaf, m move everything. So that's where you see the orange dot over here. It just, just touches it around there and in the 
top view as well, just make sure it just touches it right there. The main reason for doing this is, well, when we like create more duplicates of this, it will rotate from that center point. So we don't want it to be somewhere like here, because then when you rotate it, it will look odd. So that's the main reason for doing that. Okay, um, so now that we have a leaf shape defined, we can go ahead and now, well, first of all, let's UV unwrap it. Tab into edit mode, press A to select all the vertices, U, and then unwrap. So I'm just gonna drag out a new window and then uh, turn this to a UV image editor. Then press R90 over here, minus, R minus 90, and just move it uh, in line there, and I might scale it down a bit. Okay, so that we have our UV map set up for our non-existent image, but we will add an image. So I'll load up an image now, all right? So I'll probably go with that. The scaling does look a little wrong, but uh, we can probably mask that uh, effect a little bit. Okay, so um, the UV mapping is now done. So I'll just go back to solid mode and uh, don't have to worry about the texture for now. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add in another modifier. So let's just press smooth on that. I'm gonna first of all add a solidify modifier. So solidify and uh, I'll add a little bit of thickness to it. So this will just give our leaf, uh, it won't make our leaf look flat. If you look at our leaf in close up, you'll notice there is a little bit of that uh, thickness there. It's definitely not one of those uh, normal looking leaves like this one here. This one has a bit more thickness. So we won't go overboard with it. I think that's too thick, but we will add just a slight amount, just like that. That seems to be good, okay? Um, now I'll go ahead and apply this subdivision surface and I'll also apply that. Uh, I'll just go ahead and name it uh, from plane to leaf. So just double click that and just call it leaf. We can now move this to the layer below it. So now what we're going to do is we want to try and get that one leaf and distribute it all over so that it gives us this type of shape. So the best way to do that is, well, first of all, go to the front view by pressing numpad one and then press shift A mesh UV sphere. And then we'll just use uh, 16 segments. That's too many polys I can see over there. Uh, this part is not going to be seen at all. This is just going to be emitting our particles. In other words, it's going to be emitting our leaves. And I don't need any of the ones that are below the ground. So box select that by pressing B and then left click drag around these vertices here. Then press X and then delete vertices. So now what we want to do is we want to emit the leaves out of here. I'll just rename it to uh, like leaf emitter. We want the leaves to emit from the normals of the faces. Um, the normals are facing out like this, and it's just going around like that. And uh, we're just going to go ahead now and uh, emit the leaves out of this uh, normal. So to do so, uh, we're going to use the particle system. So with the leaf emitter selected, go into the particle tab of the properties window and just press new. Then change from type emitter to hair. I think 1000 is way too much, so I'm going to turn it down to 100. And then uh, check advanced, that will allow us to work with more advanced controls of Blender. And then we'll just use random. Now I'll uh, scroll down and under uh, the render, where, oh, there you go, render. We don't want to render these lines, so don't render path. We're going to render object. And the object that we're going to choose is our leaf emitter. Oh, sorry, not our leaf emitter our actual leaf. So there we go. And right now it looks like we've created like Super Saiyan hair or something. So that doesn't look quite good. Um, well, I mean, it's quite good if you want to create like a Super Saiyan character, but not so much if you want to create a plant. Uh, so we need to fix that up. Now to fix this up, um, as I said, working with rotation in the particle system is a bit of a pain. So I just checked rotation, by the way. So it's a bit of a pain. So check rotation and check rotation here as well. So I'm going to use uh, not velocity here for this one. I want to use a normal. I, I want it to come out from the normals of the, the sphere, which is the reason why we created our sphere. And now to fix this um, mess over here, I'm, I'm going to just uh, select the layer below it where we pushed our leaf. Right click the leaf and then press RZ90 minus. And look at that. We have created our plant. How good does that look? So it's, well, I'll just remove that layer now. So that's it. That's pretty much what, we, what we've been looking to do this whole time. So but we're not quite done yet. There's one more thing we need to fix up. Um, well, first of all, that sphere is way too big. 
So I just want to scale that sphere uh, way down, so S.5, but uh, we, it won't scale the uh, particles, the particles will stay the same size. But it doesn't matter because um, we don't want to see the sphere, we only want to see the plant itself. Uh, I think the leaves are way too big, uh, so I might turn down the size, maybe 0 0.02 seems to be uh, too small, 0 0.035 seems about right. Okay, so that's good. Now, uh, you might notice one thing. Well, first of all, we've got way too many uh, leaves, so I might just reduce it to about uh, 80. Uh, that seems a bit better. In the, the rotation, just let's make it a bit random, the, the rotation, so it looks a bit more realistic. So that seems a bit better. Uh, finally, one more thing. Uh, you'll notice that all the leaves here have the same size. Now I can obviously go to the where's where the size the size here and then just make it a little bit more random and that is good that is actually makes it a little bit more realistic but what I mean is if I look at my reference photo the leaves in the front are smaller than the leaves in the back the leaves in the back are huge so um, we need to tell our particle system to grow the leaves to be smaller over here and to be larger on the bottom areas. And the way to do that is by using weight painting. So go to the modifiers panel and let's just uh, hide our particles. If we haven't got rid of it, we're just hiding it from our view. So we can just see the sphere or our leaf emitter. Um, now I want to add a new vertex group. and I'm just going to name it something like length because this vertex group is going to control the length of our leaves. So now with that uh, created, I'm going to go to edit mode for this one. We can obviously go to weight paint mode and actually paint it, but um, I want to do it a bit more in a controlled fashion. So I want to use the edit mode. Uh, and I might select the, the first three uh, loops, just like that. Um, and then I'm with a weight of one, this will make it red and have a full influence. We'll just assign that. So if I look at that now in the weight paint mode, we get something that's like that. Uh, going back to edit mode, I'm going to go ahead and make the middle parts of our like, uh, or maybe even that one as well. I'll make the middle parts of our um, leaves a little bit smaller. So we might say a weight of 0.7 and we'll just assign that. So if you look at that in the weight paint mode, we can see it's a bit more of a greeny yellowy color. So 0 0.7, so that means the length will now be a little bit smaller than the length over here. And then for the remaining ones, I'm going to uh, create a weight of about 0.5. So I'm, I'm saying the leaves over here are half the size of the leaves that are growing here. So let's assign that. And let's have a look at that in weight paint mode. So we have uh, this type of weight distribution. Kind of looks like a flag of a country. Okay, so now that we have that weight distribution, we're going to go back into object mode. First of all, let's show our leaves again, just like that. And you'll notice that nothing's happened. All our leaves are still the same size. The ones in the middle are just as huge and clunky as the ones in the bottom. Um, but we still haven't told our particle system to use that new uh, vertex group that we created. So let's do that right now. Uh, scroll down and under vertex groups over here, just click that you'll notice that there's a section called length. So it's a length that we're going to use to control the length of our leaves. So just click that and there you go. We've created our little plant. And how does that look? Um, make sure to save regularly because uh, if Blender crashes, um, you pretty much lost all that work. I might just uh, create a finishing effect over here. Just press Shift D and then go back to the front. And then this is join that over here. Rotate up, scale it down. I might just finish off this effect by putting it right in the middle. There we go. So what I've just created there is just that uh, that middle bit over here. It's not as important. So uh, I'll just scale this. Oops. I'll just scale them down. Actually, let's go back, um, select them both, and then scale them down. Something like that. 
Okay, so that's good. So I'm happy with that. Let's get rid of this. Um, oops, sorry. Let's bring that back. Let's just move uh, these two guys to the top layer. Okay, now I can hide that again. Alright, so that's good.